Thank you, Mike. Well, we, we met uh, a year ago, uh, and we decided uh, to elect a new chair for the party, Keith Downing. At that meeting, I um, recommended that we vote for, for Keith, and we said we'd do an outreach. We said that was going to be an important part of this focus, really doing the outreach. This is the beginning of what Keith talked about. And, uh, He's a great partner helping with this event, as well as Janet Byhoff. Where's Janet Byhoff? Janet, thank you. Thank you. Janet. <laughs> if we ever needed an RNC delegate from Minnesota that understood how important Latino outreach is, that's who we've got, ladies and gentlemen. And she's really made a good push. And I think that, that she is on notice when it comes to all the delegates across the country, that she is a staunch supporter of Latino voter robberies. Thank you, Jen. So right before we start, we're gonna hear from the chair. Keith, come on and give us a few words here, buddy. And uh, wow, isn't this great that a bunch of Republicans are at the Wellstone Center? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, uh, Rick. And really, it is a partnership, and uh, my commitment um, was not one of words. And I'm hopeful that our commitment coming out of this meeting today is not simply one of words in a morning uh, afternoon conference. Um, this has to be part of who we are as Republicans. And I'm encouraged, having traveled around the state of Minnesota, thinking about our chances in 2014, uh, kind of tactically here, how do we find some success electorally as Republicans in Minnesota a year from now? But maybe more importantly, uh, for the future, not just the Republicans, but for the success of our, our state. And I am encouraged because I really believe, and if I didn't, I don't think I'd be doing this job, that Republican values are aligned with Minnesota values. You go around the state, you see how people lead their lives and how they run their businesses and how they contribute back to their community. You know what, those are Republican values. They really are. And they are no different for a Latino American, for an African American, uh, for uh, any other ethnic group or subgroup that we might want to create out there. And I appreciate it. I really do, Rick, you're doing a fantastic job, and, and Janet with the program today, and this mission that we're on. But I want to caution us a little bit. The Latino community, the African American community, the farmers, women, whatever, whatever groups we choose to target, they cannot become a means to an end of us earning a vote. They're Minnesotans, and they're Americans. <laughs> We have to be in this because it's the right thing to do. And these people need the American dream, as, as Mike uh, alluded to, like every other Minnesotan, like every other American. So I think our values align. I couldn't agree more that the Democrats are literally leaving these people behind in, in the service of their special interests. It's time for Republicans to get back out in front of the people of Minnesota, show them that we're on their side, that our values are their values, that the democratic policies that supposedly are helping them are actually hurting them, and that we have the answers. We have the answers. <laughs> and historically, Republicans have been great at putting candidates and policy positions and um, kind of uh, analytical frameworks out there, right? And you know what, they work. They work in St. Paul and they work in Washington, D.C. You know what the Democrats have done? They've identified groups of people and they found wedge issues to go after them and pick off their vote. That's demeaning, number one, but the reality is it's brilliant political strategy when executed the way they do it. And so without abandoning what's right and true and good for this country, we have got to find a way to get out and speak to these people with words that they understand, show them that we're on their side, and if we do that, I think we can have great success in Minnesota and across the country with all these groups that have looked at us from afar before. So Rick, thank you. This, this conference is just the start and you have my 110% commitment that we're gonna take this thing all the way because it's the right thing to do. Thank you.